<laughs> behind the scenes. Listen, getting Dungeon Family wasn't the most difficult, but it was the most surprising because up until the moment Dre hit the stage, we didn't know Dre was going to hit the stage. See there. And that's really, I yeah. just that's the question I was about to ask. How the hell did y'all get Andre out there? We yeah. didn't get Andre out there. Andre got Andre <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. Oh just, my yeah. God. Yeah, we didn't know. We how didn't did know. the crowd react when three rags popped out of nowhere? Then? Because how did y'all react when three thousand popped out of nowhere? Look here, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> Shit. It was black men crying. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all laughing. I swear to God, dog. Like, if you grew up in Atlanta, watching that moment, because I think oh. also it's one of them things where oh. it's one of those, it's kind of like, I hate to put it, compare it to that shit, but like watching Jordan's last game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you kind of was like, ah, I ain't never going to see this shit again. That was, that was what that was right there okay. you know what i'm saying it took 15 16 years for them to do a reunion like that oh my god right so the idea of them doing that again or the opportunity to see all them share the same stage yeah badu came from her stage and got on stage with them singing back up and liberation and shit. Oh, you know what i'm saying shit. like that whole moment man it was i'm telling you grown ass men out there yeah. crying i know bro. it was yeah. that whole like I that was whole one set them. I was teary eyed from when, like, <laughs> nah, think like, about man, it, right? That whole right? set, it's special, special. Dre came out, the crowd go crazy, so they emotional, they amped on that. Then, then, then Bone Crusher does Never Scared, and T, nobody knows. Then Ti comes out, they go crazy again. Ti and and, and and Killer Mike, and Killer Mike, so they go crazy again. Then in the latter part of they set, they go into that Kryptonite. Mm. Now. Kryptonite is the unofficial <laughs> national anthem of Atlanta. Yeah, it is. So they go into that it Kryptonite, is. and the whole crowd is, hey, hey, bruh. That, yeah, that, 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 was, that was a moment. Which leads me to this question, fellas. Have we been documenting this history the whole time? How have we been yeah. doing on the documentary yeah. side of things? Yeah. And are we going to get this content in a Netflix special? I mean, what the we hell? Gotta do Hold on, we got to look at the camera. We got to look at this camera for this. Now, look here at Netflix. <laughs> Netflix, Hulu. Netflix, you Hulu, know what I'm saying? Disney. Prime. Look here now. Tyler, uh, you, we, you we, cut we, that we, new we, we got 14 me. years. <laughs> 14 years of content, of unseen content, what? behind the scenes. <laughs> Uh, but you know what, man? Don't know why I want to sit and look at acts on TV just performing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the story of One Music Fest, the the why, the reason behind it, the fights, the struggles, mm. yeah, it, it's it's a it's a whole little mini series. Right. You know Think what I'm saying? about it, man. We have moments outside of the Dungeon Family uh, reunion. We had Three Six Mafia got together after 19 years at one music fest. Yep. You know what I mean? I remember um, that one, too. I don't yeah. know. I that <laughs> you know what I'm Shit. saying? Shit. Yeah. So it's like yeah. uh, a lot of people's last big performances was at uh, one music fest, DMX. Mm. Um, Shit. Um, Take Off um, was there at, uh, what was that, last year? Yeah, last, yeah, last year. year. Last year, Young Take Dolph. Off, uh, Dolph. My God. You know, so... From a hip hop standpoint, though, fellas, how do y'all feel when you see an artist rock that stage and you thinking it would be it would be great to have them back again, but then they wind up passing away before the next one music fest occurs? Just yeah, to stay nah. the hip hop in general, I, how I do think y'all feel about for, that? For for hip hop, and for me just personally, I learned to like when we have an opportunity to we, we book we was. But Nipsey, the Nipsey was supposed to perform at one music fest the year he passed. Oh my God. Um so we have an opportunity to get somebody in that the people want to see. We're gonna go try to do it. Yeah. Because I learned um from Prince. <clears throat> I, I, I remember I had tickets to see Prince, right? Mm. Over at the Fox. And uh I was like, just one of them Gemini moves. I was like, I don't want to go. I'm gonna give away <laughs> tickets. Yeah. I'll go see him next time. Then he passed time. away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to, when you have an opportunity to get the artists and for the people to see, yeah. and we, you know, we gonna try to make those make those moments like happen, um, and, and you know, create them for the fans and and for us because we big fans as well. And yeah. let me, yeah, let me say that about about a festival. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, for, for, for folks that still have not embraced the idea of a festival, that's exactly what it gives you. It, it gives you... It, uh, it gives you moments that you that you will never never have or, right. or that you can't really compare to anything anything else right it's 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 um you know i if you pay your money to go see no shade anita baker right <laughs> you know what there i'm you saying go. you know exactly what you're going to get yeah you you put 50 artists on a lineup mm-hmm. right 50 artists on a lineup ranging from trap, hip hop, soul, R&B, neo soul, classic, whatever, yeah. right? Something's going to happen. Right. There's going to be somebody that's going to pop out. Yeah. There will be, will be some collaborations, but also, you know what I'm saying? How how can so the same money I'd pay to see Anita Baker, 160, 170, dollars right? Mm-hmm. I can pay that for a festival and see 30 different performances in one day. Come on now. And hang out with my folks, my peoples, you know what I'm saying? While I'm laid out with my, you know what I'm saying, my lemon pepper wet yeah. and doing whatever it is I want to do. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a whole that's a whole experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the so how you people value concert tickets versus festival tickets, you know what I'm saying? It's it's actually there's no comparison. Mm-hmm. The experience that you walk away with at a festival is is going to be yeah. life changing. 